Hi there, welcome to Healthy Helpings TV, the show that makes fast food healthy and healthy food fast. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, something that I guess you'd probably find on a restaurant menu and want to steer well clear away from. It's going to be a, a lamb in uh, a white wine and mascarpone sauce. Um, it's going to have beautiful kind of different kinds of flavors from mushrooms and things like that. And I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful restaurant dish at home and reduce down the calories. In a regular restaurant meal this would be over a thousand calories easily and well, I reckon we can sneak this in for about 450-500 calories. It's a great one as well if you're doing uh, low carb or try to cut your carbs down in the afternoon and evening because it's pretty much carb free. We are going to be using some really rich ingredients though like mascarpone but you really want to step things up and just you know sometimes you don't want to go for the lowest fat option you really do want that little bit of flavor. So let's get started. I've got some lamb backstrap or lamb fillet here and I'm just going to cover that in some garlic and some fresh oregano. A little bit of salt and pepper on there as well. And then I'm just going to grab some olive oil. Rub that in my hands and just rub my hands over the bits of meat. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so next what we need to do is head over to the stove and make sure that we've got a frying pan that um, has a handle that can go into the oven. We're going to seal these off. Okay, so into your pan just throw in a couple of sliced up shallots and those pieces of lamb. We're just going to seal those and then they can go in the oven. So make sure your oven's preheated to a medium to high heat. You're just trying to get some colour on those so you can see that we're not trying to cook it right through. Just seal it off and get that beautiful kind of caramelisation in the outside of the meat. On the second side you probably just want to give it about 30 seconds on a nice high heat. And then what we're going to do is just take it off the stove and pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, meanwhile while you're doing that, you just need to get some hot water and pour it onto some uh, dried porcini mushrooms and just let those soak. Once they've soaked, we'll chop those up. Now it's really important you hold on to that liquid after you've soaked in it because we're going to use that as the basis of our sauce. So whatever you do, don't throw it away. In addition to the dried porcinis, I've also got some button mushrooms and some Swiss, Swiss brown mushrooms here. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to cook those as well in just a second. So that ought to do your meat. Pull it out. Watch out, the handle's going to be hot, so don't touch that. Um, I'm going to turn the oven off, but let's get flashy and chuck some plates in. Because it's always nice to have nice warm plates when you're cooking a nice meal. Alright. So, so your meat should be cooked. You just want to take it out and let it rest though. It's always a good idea with um, meat and that way you get nice juices. And again, don't forget that handle's hot. So we're going to cover the meat with a bit of bit of foil. I've also got some asparagus on the go here which I'm just going to serve up with it. If um, you want you could also do steamed broccoli instead. So just cover the meat and put that aside somewhere warm just until you're ready. Okay so we're going to grab firstly firstly we're going to grab a little bit of vermouth just to deglaze this pan with If you don't have vermouth, you can use white wine, whatever works. And then what that's doing is getting all the beautiful pan juices off of the bottom of the pan. To this, chuck in your mushroom water, uh, probably about two tablespoons worth. And if you're lucky enough to have some demi-glaze, which is reduced veal stock, throw that in as well. Otherwise, maybe just a little bit more of those mushroom juices. And we're going to bring that up to a simmer. I think it might even need a little bit more mushroom juice. Throw in the mushrooms as well. And we'll give that a bit of a chance just for those mushrooms to cook down. If your pan starts to get a bit too dry, just add a little bit of water or stock. Just a little bit of French mustard. That's going to add some beautiful flavour to the sauce and make it seem a lot richer. 
Then I've got about half a teaspoon of butter. Just turn the heat off pretty much now. And two tablespoons of mascarpone, which is a rich Italian cream cheese. Take that off the heat and just stir that sauce through. Now, with your meat resting, you'll find that there's all sorts of juices there, so just pour those in and you can put your meat in as well. Probably more delicately than I did, and just give that a quick toss around. Lovely. I'm just going to grab that tiny little bit of leftover butter and just dollop it on top of my asparagus. Whew, they're hot. Okay, so I'm going to, I reckon, do a bed of these asparagus. Now note the asparagus aren't totally soggy, they're just al dente if you're talking kind of pasta and stuff like that. Then I'll put one of these fillets on top of each. And you could slice those up if you wanted to as well. Um, and finally I'll serve up the sauce. Beautiful. Just a little bit pink on the inside, just how I like my lamb. Mmm. Mmm. The oregano that we roasted that in, you can just, it's gone right the way through the meat, even in just that quick amount of time. Lovely. So there you have it. Beautiful, rich. Um, lamb in a, with asparagus in a lovely mushroom sauce. It's just absolutely de decadent and well you know that this has got a lot less fat in it and a lot less calories than what you pick up in a restaurant and that took no time at all to prepare. So get in your kitchen have some great times. That's Healthy Helpings TV for another week. You can check out the website healthyhelpingstv.com for the recipe and past episodes. My name's Michelle if you've enjoyed the show. Please tell your friends about it. I'll catch you next time. You'll need the following ingredients. 10 ounces of lamb fillet, one clove of garlic chopped, one tablespoon of oregano chopped, one to two tablespoons of olive oil, two shallots sliced, two tablespoons of dried porcini mushrooms, one cup of mixed mushrooms sliced, two tablespoons of vermouth, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of butter, and two tablespoons of mascarpone. GNM Health, building a better you.